Hey everyone, All Electric Muscle here with a new video today. We have seen other YouTube videos showing autopilot failing on the 91 West to the 15 South overpass. With the list update on 2019.28.3, we want to see if there would be any significant difference on this overpass. We have Navigate on autopilot enabled. As we approach, we stay in the far right lane. This is because we have Navigate on autopilot on and want to see if the car would stay heading towards the 15 South overpass or veer right onto the 15 North. As you can see, without a doubt, the car stays heading to the 15 south overpass. At this point, our speed decreases from 70 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour. Even with this drop, I felt that the car was moving pretty fast, but did hold its ground and I was ready to take over if needed. On the left hand side, you can see there's heavy traffic and ahead of us, construction cones and barriers. As the overpass ends, we have to merge over. The car does not recognize us and we would have continued straight had I not taken over the vehicle. I put the car back into navigate on autopilot and it immediately wants to merge over onto the number four lane, but then it immediately cancels. It tries again, and this time it works confidently. This was rush hour traffic and I had the car set to one car length ahead. I'm again notified to merge over. This time the car begins to merge over and almost immediately tries to get back into number four lane, so I have to take over the vehicle. The vehicle behind me gave me plenty of room, so I don't understand what caused the car to want to get back over to its lane. Reddit user Correcto Man wanted to see how the new update does next to traffic trailers. We are in the number two lane next to a big rig pulling a trailer with our speed at 70 miles per hour. Car didn't move out of the center of the lane and the steering wheel stayed straight the whole time. There was no ghost braking and no attempt to slow down by the vehicle. And it didn't try to move away from the truck, but rather stayed in the middle. We then found an SUV pulling a large camping trailer. Again, there wasn't an issue and it was just like passing any other vehicle on the freeway. Traffic begins to slow down and we are still next to the SUV with the camper with no issues. We were fortunate enough to find a big rig also pulling an oversized load. We still have navigate on the autopilot enabled as we approach going 70 miles per hour up a slight incline. The car doesn't budge and stays perfectly in the center of the number two lane. I was concerned at first on how the system would perform based on the overpass issue. Now while in the number one lane, the left hand shoulder was closed. To my surprise, the car recognized the cones and even veers to the right a little bit while staying in the number one lane. Once we pass the cones, the car corrects its center in the number one lane. While I haven't noticed any ghost braking, the fact the car cannot merge onto the overpass is a huge concern for me and will be not using navigate on autopilot or autopilot until the next update in this particular spot. Autopilot seems to have an issue merging over in heavy traffic as well, and I wouldn't feel confident using it 100% of the time and would prefer to be in control. This being said, I'm impressed how well it stayed in a lane with construction cones taking part of the lane and do believe the system is improving with each new update. If there's anything you wanna see, please leave us a comment below. Like and subscribe to our channel so we can continue putting out new videos for you. As always, drive safe.